So in this video, we'll be looking at equations involving parentheses. So, for most of you, you are aware of this topic. For some, so you're not left out, we can still understand it now. So equations involving parentheses are uh, just simply equations involving brackets. Because in simple terms, a parenthesis is just a bracket. But an equation, by definition, is regarded to be a mathematical statement that will possess an equal sign. So now with that said, we can look at examples of these equations that involve parentheses. So I sent some questions in the group and they said solve the equation of the equations involving parentheses that I sent. So I'm going to look at these same questions I sent as examples. So number one says open brackets for x minus one close then we also have open bracket seven x plus five is equal to zero. So now to solve this, you first have to identify the number of brackets you have. You have bracket A and bracket B being equated to zero. So you say bracket A equated to zero, comma, bracket B equated to zero. Then you write the elements that are in bracket A. In this case, we have 4x minus 1 being equated to zero. On the other hand, bracket B is having 7x plus 5 being equated to zero. So we're going to open the brackets and just have 4x minus 1 being equal to zero. And we solve this equation. To solve this equation, we're going to cause the negative 1 to cross the equal sign. And if it does so, to change from negative to positive. So you'll be having 4x being equal to 0. And when the negative 1 comes this side, you'll be having a positive 1. So now, if you further simplify your question, you'll be having 4x being equal to 0 plus 1. It's just a 1. So in mathematics, 4x can never really be equal to 1. So you divide both sides by 4, and the other hand by 4. So you can have 4 into 4, and x is simply just 1 over 4. So this is the first value of x. You move on to the other part. You open the brackets. You'll be having 7x plus 5 being equal to 0. Okay. So... 7x plus 5 is being equated to 0. To solve this, we're going to cause the positive 5 to cross the equal sign so we can isolate x. So we can have 7x is equal to 0. When the, when the positive 5 crosses, you'll be having a negative 5. So you can simplify this furthermore by saying 7x <laughs> is equal to 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So, in mathematics, 7x can never really just be equal to negative 5. So, you have to divide both sides by 7. Then on the other side, by 7. So, you can have x just being equal to negative 5 over 7. So, these were the values of x in the first question. Question number 2. You have open brackets to x minus 1 and x plus 5 being equated to 0. So you have two brackets. So you identify the number of brackets like I said in the previous example. So you have bracket A and bracket B being equated to 0. So bracket A is equal to 0 or bracket B is equal to what? Zero. So, if you want, you can use or, or just a comma to demarcate the two equations. Bracket A is having the elements within itself as 2x minus 1, sorry. 2x minus 1 being equated to 0. And bracket B is having the element x plus 5 being equated to 0. So, we'll solve the first bracket, which is giving us the first equation. So we we'll say 2x minus 1 is equal to what? 0. 
and we'll solve this equation by causing the negative 1 to cross the equal sign. So we can just isolate x. So we'll be having 2x being equal to 0. When negative 1 comes outside, we'll be having a plus 1. So 2x being equal to 0 plus 1, simply 1. In mathematics, your final answer can never really be 2x being equal to 1. So you have to divide both sides by 2, even this side by 2. So 2 can cancel out with 2, and you'll be having x being equal to 1 over 2. Once you're done with the first value of x, you can move on to the second value of x. You'll be saying x plus 5 <laughs> is equal to what? 0. So to finish this equation, you will cause the positive 5 to cross the equal sign. So we have an x is equal to 0 minus what? 5. So x is equal to 0 minus 5, giving you negative <laughs> 5, because 0 is actually nothing. So this is how you saw the second uh, example. We move on to question 3. Question 3 was having uh, open brackets x minus 1, then close and x plus 1. Close bracket, and this was uh, actually equal to uh, zero. Yeah, like that. Okay, so plus one. So we're going to be doing the same thing over and over again. We're going to know or indicate the number of brackets you have by the letters. So you have a bracket A, bracket B, B equal to zero. So bracket A is equal to 0, or bracket B is equal to 0. So you'll be having uh, the elements in A, which is x plus, sorry, x minus 1. You'll be having x minus 1 being equal to 0. And on the other hand, you'll be having x plus 1 is equal to 0. So you solve for x in the first equation by causing uh, the 1 here to cross the equal sign. So whatever that crosses the equal sign, we change its sign from positive to negative, from negative to positive. So we'll be having x this side being equal to 0 plus 1. So we'll be having x is equal to 0 plus 1, which is 1. This is the first value of x. On the other side, you have x plus 1 being equal to 0. So I'm going to cause the positive 1 to cross the equal <laughs> sign. And if it does so... You'll be having x is equal to 0 minus 1. So x is equal to what? Negative 1. Yeah. Okay, so we have solved three equations. Three equations so far. All right. Now, since we have solved uh, three equations, we can move on by solving... Uh, the last two equations so that we don't really waste time. Okay, so I hope uh, we have understood what we're supposed to be doing for um, these other examples that we have. All right, so let's move on to question number four. So question number four, if you look from uh, the group, it is given... That uh, the first bracket has 2x minus 4, then the second one has negative 3x minus 12, close is equal to 0. So you do the same thing, identify the number of brackets, so bracket A, bracket B is equal to 0, so bracket A is equal to 0, or bracket B is equal to 0. Bracket A is having the elements 2x minus 4 being equal to 0. And bracket B is having the elements which are negative 3x minus 12 is equal to 0. So we'll solve for the first equation which is giving us 2x minus 4 minus 4 being equal to 0. So we're going to cause a negative 4 to cross the equal sign so we can isolate x by having 2x is equal to 0 plus 4. So you'd be having 2x is equal to 0 plus 4, simply 4. So in mathematics, 2x can never really be equal to just 4. So you divide both sides by 2, by 2. Then you'd be having x 
Because 2 into 2 here, you'll be having what? Uh, x. B equal to 2 into 4, simply 2. Then on the other hand, you have negative 3x minus 12 being equal to 0. So it calls the negative 12 to cross the equal sign. So you can remain with negative 3x being equal to 0 plus 12. Now it's going to be a plus 12 because the 12 here is negative. So when it crosses, it's going to be a plus 12. So you'll be having negative 3x being equal to 0 plus 12 is simply 12. So negative 3x can never be really be done amounted to just be equal to 12. So we divide both sides by the number with x, which is negative 3. When this side divided by negative 3, so 3 into 3, you'll be having x is equal to negative 3 into 12 is negative 4. You have solved the equation. Okay, so let's look at the last one. The last one is a bit tricky because uh, I think some of you didn't even solve it. So you're having 12x minus 4, close open brackets again, you have x plus 4, then minus 3 is equal to 0. To solve this one first, you cause the negative 3 to cross the equal sign. So that you can just remain with 12x minus 4 and x plus 4 being equal to 0 when negative 3 crosses becomes a plus 3. So to be 12x minus 4 then x plus 4 being equal to 0 plus 3 which is 3. Which means at this point you can now indicate the number of brackets you have. You have bracket A and bracket B being equal to 3. So bracket A is equal to 3 or bracket B is equal to 3. So you're going to write the elements in bracket A, which are 12 x minus 4 being equal to what? 3. For B, you're having x plus 4 being equal to 3. So you're going to solve the first bracket by opening it and say 12 x minus 4 is equal to 3. Then you cause a negative 4 to cross the equal sign, and you have 12x being equal to 3 plus 4. So 12x is equal to 3 plus 4 is 7. Now this can never be a final answer, so I say 12x is equal to 7, and divide both sides by 12, and the other side by 12 as well. So 12 comes out with 12, and you have x being equal to 7 over 12. On the last equation, you be having x plus 4 being equal to 3. So you cause a positive 3 to cross the equal sign, and you have x is equal to 3 minus 4. So x will be equal to 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So once you do this, then you're done with all the equations that you need to solve. All right, thank you for watching the video. And this is simply cash word. Center and uh, Mr. Hussein. So, see you next time. Bye.